Hey everybody, welcome back to Pick Up Steam. I'm Kirk, the product developer here at Lakeshore. Today, let's design and build a track for marbles. At Lakeshore, we love Steam because it encourages kids to get curious and be creative through activities in science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. With a Steam experiment like the one we're about to do, you practice problem solving, reasoning, and critical thinking, and you also learn how to face challenges and be persistent. Let's get started. This experiment is gonna teach us about potential and kinetic energy, gravity and friction in action. Potential energy is the energy of an object that's at rest. Releasing a marble from up high gives it more potential energy than if you were to release it from a lower point. Once you let it go though, gravity pulls the marble down and that potential energy becomes kinetic energy, which is the energy of things that are in motion. By just touching the track, the marble loses energy and that's because a force called friction slows it down. And when the marble goes up a hill, well, it loses even more energy due to something called gravity. Imagine being on a bike at the top of a hill. You and your bike have a lot of potential energy, but as you ride down the hill, you've got kinetic energy, and if you ride through gravel or a rough patch, it's friction that causes you to lose energy and speed. If you coast up another hill, gravity is trying to pull you back down and you go even slower. We'll keep these ideas in mind when we make our design. It'll be important for the track to give the marble plenty of momentum to overcome gravity and friction and make it all the way to the end. Let's start by planning it out. Then we'll create it, test it, and ask ourselves how to improve it. That's what the STEAM process is all about. And along the way, we'll get to learn firsthand about the concepts we just discussed. All right, so the goal of this track is to have a marble roll from the top all the way into a cup. So we're gonna start by sketching out a design. Now it's important to draw our design so that we can remember what we wanna change later. But we're gonna start with a cup and another cup to give it some height. Put a ramp there. And then let's see, we wanna make the marble turn and we'll see if the marble rolls into a cup at the bottom. All right, call this design number one. We're gonna build our track out of Cardboard tubes like paper towel rolls or bathroom tissue rolls, some paper plates, scissors, tape, paper cups, and of course, we're gonna need marbles. So let's take our scissors, and first we're gonna start by making our ramp. So let's take one of the cardboard tubes and cut it in half. We're gonna need uh, some tape, so we can tape them together. Tape them together to make a nice long track. We can take a paper cup, two paper cups, see how far apart they are. Take a paper plate and we're gonna make our ramp. We want to go a little bit more than halfway around. Let's get some more tape. And let's put a goal at the end. All right, before we test it, cups look a little boring. Let's give it some style. All right, now that we added a little bit of design to our cups, it's time to test this track and see what it can do. So again, the goal was to get the marble from the top of the track all the way down and into the cup. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Didn't work very well. Clearly the marble didn't make its way down the track like at all. It seems to have stopped in motion. I wonder why. Well, we learned about kinetic and potential energy, so we probably need to redesign a track to give it a little bit more of that. Let's try again. Now, we saw that the marble didn't make it all the way down the ramp, and it's probably because it didn't have enough kinetic energy. In order to give it more kinetic energy, we need to give it a steeper hill. So let's put, instead of one, let's give it two cups at the beginning, and then one cup at the end. We'll make the ramp, have a little bit more angle, and then we'll have the cup at the end. Now that we've planned our second design, it's time to give the marble a little bit more of that potential and kinetic energy. And we're gonna do that by adding a cup to the beginning of the track. Ah, uh, see how much more of an angle that is? Let's see what happens. The marble at the top, there it goes. Oh man, good kinetic energy, but a little bit too much. The ramp is really good, but the marble seems to fly off the spiral, so I wonder if we can build a little bit of a wall to keep the marble on track. All right, just by folding this in a little bit and seeing what happens. It seemed to fly off around here. So now we've uh, taken some time and built up the wall around our spiral track. Um, hopefully it'll keep the marble going and stay uh, on the ramp. Let's see what happens. 
Yes, success. Marvel went into the cup. So now it's your turn. Do you think you can use these materials to make a track that'll give the marble enough momentum to get from the top to the bottom? Have fun with the steam process and see what you can come up with. As an extra challenge, I want you to try to make a marble run that has an incline, a spiral, and a unique feature that you come up with on your own. I hope you had fun experimenting and discovering today. I sure did. Thanks for learning with Lakeshore and be sure to check out our other steam experiments. See you next time. Thank you.